In this video, I'm going to show you how to use OpenOffice Calci. So this is the interface for OpenOffice Calci. Here we have menu where you will find different commands, a ribbon where you will find frequently used commands and here at the top the name of the spreadsheet. This is called as spreadsheet. Okay. And we have three worksheets here. Sheet 1, Sheet 2, Sheet 3. So it is like a notebook with columns and rows having multiple pages that are sheets. Click on file to save your file. Click on save or save as. Go to the destination where you want to save. Type the name of the file. And you can see that it is saving it as open document spreadsheet dot ods extension. Okay, this is the default one, but you can change it to dot xls. That is Microsoft Excel also, but I don't want to do that. Just name your file, click on save. It is saved. So next thing is adding a data in the spreadsheet for calculation. Okay, so I have added data to our spreadsheet. Now uh, it is not looking good, right? So let's format it properly. Let's select all the cells. So this is called as cell. Okay, these are columns A, B, C, D. These are columns and 1, 2, 3, 4 are the rows. So the intersection of columns and rows is called as cells. So this is one cell. This is one cell. Now select all the cells having data. Go to the font then select the font you want. Let's say I want Calibri font. So I'll click on Calibri. Let's say 15. 15 is getting too big let's reduce it to the 12 also we want to apply center align and here let's apply bold formatting these are the amounts but they are not looking like amount how we will know that it's actually an amount but we want to show them as a currency right so we have to select them all and then right click format cells click on number click on currency and i am choosing indian currency okay you can also choose see uh, multiple options here right now i'll keep the indian rupees and then from here you can also change the decimal places that to dot zero zero like that you can show click on ok and this is how now it is looking like ok next thing we want to do is I want to calculate the total sales of the product so to calculate total we have sum if you want to calculate average there is average function just click here to see all the functions see this is a function wizard it will show you all the functions so there are many functions in the plc you can use them i just want the total i will type equal to sign then type sum and you can see that it is suggesting me i will press enter to accept that suggestion automatically it has added round brackets okay inside this i will select these both cells i want the total of these two so that's why I have selected these two and then press enter. So it is giving me the total. Okay. Next thing I want to do is here. Let's say you don't want to click on the suggestion. You want to type it manually. So type sum, then circle bracket open and select the cells and circle bracket closed. Press enter. You will get the total. I'll make this also bold product wise total we got now let's say here i will type here target achieved what i want is if the target is achieved or not how to calculate if the target is achieved or not before that let's do one thing click here and then click on format 
paint brush so what this will do is it will give the exact same formatting for the other cells in this example basically what i want to do is if the cells is more than 30000 then we can say that target is achieved if it is not we will say not achieved so basically i want to just type here yes or no based on the values for that you have to use if function equal to if bracket open then select this cell because it is where we will know that what is the total amount then you type greater than sign that if the cell is having amount greater than 30,000 semicolon we can say yes the target is achieved then semicolon again if the condition is not true that is the cell value is not greater than 30,000 then we have to show no then double quote completed bracket closed press enter and whenever you type any function or formula in the spreadsheet there is a way to apply the same formula to the cells below what you have to do is simply drag the square box you see this dark square box here it is very small so it is on the right bottom of the cell so drag it using mouse and same formula will be applied you can see that now it has automatically taken d3 and 30,000 is the same and this is also same so it will change the cell because automatically it will understand which cell to take so it has taken d3 because we dragged the formula down and now it is saying no because d3 is not greater than 30,000 if the condition is true this is condition if it is true then this will be shown if condition is not true this will be shown as simple as that here the condition was met so it is showing yes now let's do one more thing let's add chart so I will select these cells and I want to insert a chart so I'll go to insert chart I want to insert a column chart simple column chart so I'll click on finish and we have chart here I will reduce the size so that you can see it properly so here you can see that quarter one cell is represented with this blue bar and this red color is for quarter two cells so chart makes it easy to understand what is happening it is not appearing correctly because we reduce the chart size so what you can do is you can reduce the font let's set it to 7 now you can see that we reduce the font size and now it is appearing just below that under the correct column we are showing the correct name and here we can see the amount double click on that as well let's change the font size of that too okay if we change the font size obviously it will have more points to show so from 0 rupees to 20,000 rupees it is showing and where the cell is standing for the ballpoint pens for the quarter 1 quarter 2 for the ballpoint pens and it is equal showing for the mechanical pencils If you want to add a title to the chart, double click first to go inside a chart, then right click and insert title, sales. It will show sales at the top. These are some basics of OpenOffice Calc. I hope you found the video helpful. See you in the next video.